Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodle. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here with all the fabric goodies that we made from our scrap um, fabrics. So I'm just going to kind of show you the bunches or the bits that we made. So obviously we made these kind of pins, um, which I absolutely love. So I put those to one side. Now I made some ruffles. I kind of made these off camera um you know because i've said this before i'm really not the safest person when it comes to making ruffles so i just i think i dug them out um the pieces i was going to use with you guys and just said i was going to make some ruffles so that's some ruffles there just pop those to one side we made some fabric snippet rolls whoops or a couple a couple of fabric snippet rolls so that's those there now they're very thready i need to cut the threads off and things but I thought that we could come along and do some bits and pieces with some of these things. So just put that to one side. We made these gorgeous little, um, uh, what do you call these? <laughs> like little bow embellishments um, that could be kind of topped off onto a page or, you know, put as a tab or anything that you like. I mean, to be honest, I think I'd done the video viewing these as tabs for tags. Tabs for tab. Tabs. <laughs> tabs for tags. Um, but looking at them now, I'm kind of thinking actually you could make these into cute little paper clips and things like that. So I think they're quite versatile and super, super, super cute. So yeah, we've got quite a few of those. So yeah, all of those there. We did some fabric paper clips. So oops, some fabric paper clips. That's those, which again, got a nice variety there of different ones. So, you know, we've got a lot of now ready-made pieces that we made during, you know, the last few days. So that's those, put those to one side. And then at the start, if you remember, we made these collage masterboards. So these were made onto 12 by 12 scrapbook papers, like that, and we did three of them. So they're just like the kind of masterboards that we do with obviously paper, but we used, um, you know, fabric scraps instead. So absolutely love kind of everything that we made, to be honest. But I thought let's come along and have a bit of a play with some of the things that we have made. So I'm going to start with the, the masterboards, I think. So I'm just going to clear the, you know, the rest of the pieces out of the way. And I'll just take this one to get started with. Now I'm just going to cut these threads down because, you know, I don't mind some threads. But obviously these are kind of like very intrusive because they're tons and tons and tons of them so we just get rid of some of those threads okay yep okay right now what I'm going to do is turn the masterboard over and I'm just going to trim it down from the back getting all the whoops all the fabric overhangs off you know like we do when we do a um, paper collage I'm just kind of getting them off there now if I haven't made a very straight job of this which you know I'm pretty sure I haven't it doesn't matter because I can tidy these up once I, you know, once I go in to actually cut them down to use them. So all I'm trying to do, first of all, is just get a bit more of a kind of neat, yeah, neat masterboard, basically. So just tr ugh, trim these down like that. Okay. Oops. And across there. And then once we turn this over, I'm hoping that this is going to have done the magical thing like it does when you use the paper collage masterboards and it will all look much more sort of comprehensive and tied together than it currently does where it's just a bunch of scraps kind of stuck down and overhanging and yep, all looking very bitty and scruffy. So we shall see. Right, there we go. Okay, so it does look a lot more kind of held together doesn't it it looks a cohesive board now whereas previously it did just look like a bunch of scraps stuck down okay so we want to kind of cut this into some manageable pieces now oh it's a bit tricky I don't know quite which direction to take this or which yeah which direction to cut this down um let's just bring in my paper you know like like we do when we cut down the um you know, the paper collage masterboards. So yeah, what I might do is kind of cut this down here, straight across there. So I'm just going to kind of keep the, keep the piece of paper on there, just as a rough guide. I'm not going to try and like, 
you know, use it like a ruler or anything like that. But just so as I kind of, you know, roughly remember where I'm going. So we're just going to take that down there. Oops, straight down the edge. Okay. And then we can cut this in two. Now, again, what we could do is kind of make like a journaling card and then we could do like a tag. So if I'm doing that, I probably would cut them slightly different sizes, if you see what I mean. So like this one, it's a taller one and this one's, you know, more stumpy. So yeah, I'm liking those two. Right, let's have a look at what we have left. So again, just having a look to kind of see what's the best way to cut this down. You know, because you want to kind of get the best from your fabric, don't you? And, you know, so you're going to have the best, you know, the best kind of, um, yeah, pieces, I guess, that you're going to be able to use. Now, I'm just having a look, wondering quite like that edge now I'm just wondering if I did that edge could I actually make three fabric kind of tags I think I probably could so I'm going to cut that down here like that just straight the way across now obviously I can tidy this up in a moment if it's not very straight it you know I can tidy that up so then what I've got here is this, oh my gosh, I can now really see how uh, wonky that is. Um, right, okay. I'm just wondering. Okay, right, so let's just go here. So tag number one. Like that. And then from this one, it's a bit of an unfortunate shape, to be honest. Um, hmm. Yeah, I'm going to cut it, I think, here and then trim them down. So, yeah, let's just cut it here. And then I'll kind of trim it up in a minute. So, okay, right, let's go in here. Okay, and then just go across the bottom. Yeah, quite like that. And then this one, again, probably just trim it here a bit. Okay, and then trim it. Ooh. Yeah, maybe down this side. Like that. So that would be a journal card, I'm thinking. Let me just tidy that bit up there. Okay, yep. Right, let's now put that into the bin. Right, okay. Right, so yeah, I've got my basic pieces. Now this one I'm going to make into a tag. So I just want to kind of trim this, oops, trim this side down because it was a bit wonky. Okay, and then I'm just going to put my tag corners like that I've not done a very good job I think of making them very even but I mean again it's not really the end of the world but just go down there try and make that a bit sort of straighter okay so that's my tag right now what I'm thinking is back them onto a neutral thing I had kind of done them on you know what I kind of deemed to be a neutralish background um, but they have got all that stitch in so it really just depends whether if you're happy you know to leave that stitch in that's absolutely fine um, if not then obviously you know you're going to need to now back it with something kind of more neutral so I'm just wondering really I'm not that keen personally on all that stitching um, you know, to me, I feel like that's not really, you know, very usable. So I'm just quickly rummaging through my stuff that's to the side of me to see if I've got some plain, plain paper to back that on. So hold on two seconds. Oops. Oh, and of course now I can't see any. Oh, isn't this always the way? Okay. 
Okay, oh, come on. Right, I have got, I've got this, which, yeah, I could do it with this, so, yeah, okay, right. So I'm just going to put some glue down. Oh, I need to un unclog my glue. Oh, come on. Okay. Right. Let's just do journal card number one. Right. Place that down there. And I'm going to go over with my glue spreader, but kind of trying to be a bit gentle because if I press too hard, I might end up tearing it against those, against those stitches. So yeah, I'm just trying not to press too hard because I am quite heavy handed. So I don't want to, to tear it. So there we go. Okay, so that's my journal card number one, backed. Like I say, completely, you know, personal preference if you feel the need to back them or not. Um, you know, I think lots of people do leave them generally with the stitching. And, you know, that's absolutely fine too. Um, just going to bring this down slightly so that it fits on that page. And then I can get three, three out of that one sheet. Um, yeah, I mean, I personally probably just prefer them, you know, more completely plain on the back without the stitching but you know it's really yeah not a kind of big deal having the stitching on there I mean you can still kind of journal over it it's not not a big big issue okay so lots of glue in the center you know because I talk about this quite often but you don't want that kind of empty thing going on where in the center you've just got then no glue because all that's going to happen is you're going to have a kind of baggy type effect in the middle which you know you don't want that do you so yeah kind of try and cover the whole thing as best you can so i'm going to go around this one and then we'll turn them all over and again we'll just kind of glue spread for these two and that should, oops, that should stop us having that empty thing going on. So I'll put that there. And then hopefully I've got that kind of straight edge to, to work from. So I'll just turn that over now. I just want to do these couple here. Again, try not to press too hard because I don't want to tear the paper against the stitches. Okay. And just press that down with my wipe. Like that. Okie dokie, right. Looking good, right. So we can turn those over. Now I'm just going to quickly back these two as well. So then, you know, I'm completely ready to go with all of it. So let me just bring in another, another neutrally piece of paper, which, oh, again, I'm struggling to find one. Oh, come on, come on. Oh, it's so annoying because I've got literally, you name it, it's in this bag. Um, everything but some neutral paper, of course. That's the one thing I don't appear to have. I've got this pink. Well, that's not too bad, actually, because they are, yeah, they are quite pink, aren't they? So let me just see how I'm going to fit these on. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to put it on like that, I think. Now, I will probably stitch around these pieces around the edges. Um, but whether or not I do that kind of first or whether I'll do it after decorating them, I'm not quite sure. So, yeah, I'll probably do it after decorating so that then I don't have to stop the camera. You know, I can just kind of crack on and then stitch them sort of after the video. Oops. Okay. Trying to avoid lately keep stopping the video because... Um, 
you know, when you then have to rejoin a video, it really kind of, uh, you know, makes it very more time consuming, you know, very much more time consuming. And the other thing is, if for any reason my phone is running out of storage, which it seems to constantly be doing, then of course it hasn't got room to actually save the edited video. So it's much better if I can just film in one video and then upload it all together, um, you know, because it then eliminates that that problem of the, you know, running out of storage, which is so irritating, I must say. I mean, completely my own fault, I'm sure. But yeah, sometimes you see I keep videos on there. You know, I don't necessarily kind of delete them instantly off once I've uploaded them because... I've normally gone away and done something else. I can't really remember what I was doing. And so then what happens is maybe videos are still on there, you know, from absolutely ages ago. And then I can't remember whether I've uploaded them or not. So it all becomes a bit disorganised, you know. <laughs> I'm sure that won't come to any surprise to any of you that my methods are slightly disorganised yet. Oh, we all could have guessed, couldn't we? Okay, right. So I'm going to, again, just leave that to dry on there. So this one here, I'm thinking, would I have this as, um, you know, a couple of skinny tags? Or we could have this as like a belly band. Or we could have it even as a couple of, couple of belly bands. Um, oh, I'm not sure now. I mean, that's really nice up that end, isn't it? And that's got a completely different look up that end. Do you know, I'm just going to cut it here so as we've got somewhere to work, you know, somewhere to start. And then just cut that down. So, yeah, this one I think... Oh, I don't know now. I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, I quite like them both, to be honest, um, in their own kind of ways. But, yeah definitely this one's my my favorite I, I might just make a tag from this one because this feels a little bit too tiny to be you know anything really anything useful so yeah let's just glue this one down I need to top my glue up again okay right Oh, come on. There we go. And then, yeah, I can just cut these all down in a minute. But that other one, you know, this one, I might just keep that more like a pocket or a belly band, I think. Because, yeah, it kind of like lends itself to be in that, I think. So, yeah, let's just have that more like a pocket, I think. Right, okay. So what do we want to put on here? Let's have a look and see what we've got. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Let's just cut this down in half. Yeah, I think that's quite, quite nice. It looks dramatic, doesn't it? So I'm just going to use my hot glue just because that fabric, oh, just, just burnt my finger slightly. Um, that fabric wasn't quite glued down to the edge, so I'll just kind of reinforce it there with the hot glue. So, yeah, we can have this down here. Now, because I've added a black, you know, something black on here, I'm wondering whether I could have a black piece of lace. Just have a look. Well, that's quite nice, isn't it? Oops. Yeah, I quite like that. Now, I was wondering whether we could have had any of these pins on here. Oh, that's lovely, isn't it? Not there, covering up that entire frame. That's just ridiculous, isn't it? I'm now not really overly liking this, um, you know, this portion with the green and that other floral so yeah can you guess I'm just trying to cover it up so just having a look really I'm not sure that's quite quite working I'm 
I guess what we could do is have it a bit more like that. I mean, that's covered it up quite well, to be perfectly honest. So I'm just going to glue this down. I'm just going to use the hot glue. And that hot glue, obviously, it's just going to glue through the lace and, you know, stick the lace down. There we go. Like that. Okay. Just trim that down there. Okay, that looks nice, doesn't it? And then what to put here? So not sure what to put on there. These violins here. Let me just see. Not that one. I've got paint on. Oh, this is so uh, fiddly. Uh, to be honest, I mean, I don't think this is going to be quite right because this is on pretty flimsy paper. And when you're gluing, obviously, onto fabric, you know, I normally find it's helpful to use much thicker paper because, obviously, the fabric, you know, is very bulky. It's very lumpy. And so if you're sticking on thin paper on top of those bulky lumps, you know, you're risking kind of tearing the fabric, basic, uh, tearing the paper, basically. So... Yeah, I don't think this is going to work very well. But we'll give it a try because I just suddenly, you know, spotted it laying around on my desk and I thought, oh, that might might be nice. But like I say, I mean, I actually don't think it's going to work. Oh, especially not now because I've torn it off. This paper, it's really strange because it feels like it's kind of sturdy, but it's actually really brittle. So, yeah, it kind of tears like really, really, really easily, which again doesn't really bode well for then gluing onto lumpy bumpy fabric but we'll just see mm, it's quite nice though what do we think just move it right let me just ink this up whoops ink this up a bit Still using the walnut stain. Been using that for ages now. But yeah, really liking using the walnut stain. You know, not that I don't like using the vintage photo, but it's kind of nice to just mix it up and use something different for a while, isn't it? Not that it's particularly, you know, vastly different, but I guess it is a bit different. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to have the violin kind of laid there across that frame. So I just want to leave the violin there so as I can gauge where I want to put this handle so as I can line it up sort of properly with the violin in a minute. Okay, whoops, like that. Okie dokie, and then, oh, this is going to be a bit tricky. Like I say, I mean, actually, this is not really ideal piece to be gluing onto the fabric but I did think that violin looked quite nice on there okay right luckily matched it up quite well with the with the bit I tore so hopefully it's quite seamless now yeah that looks nice doesn't it right then just wondering whether we want to have anything else I've got my labels and there's a grungy page so let me just pull in the grungy page just see whether there's a grungy kind of label that might go nicely on here actually this one maybe so i hope everyone's having a good day hope you're managing to do some crafting now, did you clear out your scraps bins, <laughs> your fabric scraps? Or perhaps yours are just not that bad. Perhaps you didn't need to. Um, if you did, how have you got on? Have you made some wonderful things? Have you, you know, whittled your scraps box down? Are you still working on it? How's it all going? Quite like that there, actually. I do like it up there, but mm, let me just see if I can have two. Um, yeah, how's it all going? Did you manage to empty it out? You know, are you still, like I say, still going with them? You know, with whittling them down or 
let me know below how how your endeavours for clearing up that fabric scraps pile how it's going with you right let's just check how this would be maybe like that okay so let's just put that one down there that's now covered up that fabric that I wasn't that happy with so that's all good and we'll just pop this one down up here okay Yay, whoops. oh that's nice isn't it so yeah I mean I would use this now as a kind of belly band on a page so or you know a pocket a pocket probably on a page so I'm just going to wink around the edge just to grunge that up a bit further. Oh, I love how that looks. Absolutely scrumptious. Really, really pretty. So, yeah, I don't know whether I'm even going to bother stitching around the edge of this one, to be honest. It looks really nice as it is. I don't know as really it needs the stitches anyway. Um, so, yeah, I might or I might not. But like I said, I will do the stitching after the video. So that's the first one. Right, let's bring in the tags and things that we, that we did. So... Just cut these out. Okay. That one. And this one here. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to straighten across the bottom. Okay. And this one. And then I'll just keep this little off cut of the coffee dyed paper. I know, yeah, kind of seems ridiculous to anyone other than a junk journaler, but you know, I can make a little flippy pad from that. So yeah, why? Why throw it out when I can make other things? So let's just trim this down here. Like that. Okay. Right. What should we put on these ones? Okay. Let's have a look. Oops, that one just needs a bit more trimming down the end. Yeah. Okay. Looks nice, doesn't it? Right got the other half of that frame so I'm kind of thinking you know it's good to use the other bits because then it saves me accumulating more scraps which of course if I don't end up using other bits all I'm going to end up doing is accumulating a whole bunch more scraps so yeah okay turn that down like that not really the right colour that um, label it's got a sort of very grey tinge and this is um, you know the frame is much more brown maybe a bit better now I've inked it so yeah let's just have a look <clears throat> okay let me just pull in my black lace Again, just because I love a bit of, well, lace generally, but black lace especially. So, yeah, let's try that there. Okay. Well, I'm not sure now. Oh, I have got the debris, the little um, tabs. So just kind of demonstrating here how that tab would be on the tag. How gorgeous does that look? I love how that looks. So like I say, I will probably um, stitch around the edge of these tags. But yeah, I'm kind of thinking that looks very cute. So actually, I wonder if this, this little label, I'll just put it on a bit of black lace up there. Oh, no, I think it's better on its own. Right. down there 
omkring. That there. Right, so I'm going to just ink around this tag. And I mean, the fabric just inks brilliantly. You know, it inks just as well as paper, I think. And then I'm just going to ink this as well. Ready for when we glue this on in a minute. Yeah, that's really nice, isn't it? So I just want something else here and I'm not sure now what would be best there. Um, just having a look on my desk to see what I've got laying around. Because obviously it's always good if you can use something that you've already got just laying there, isn't it? Rather than having to look for other things. Um, no, I don't know. Well, I know it's blue, which is, you know, kind of completely off subject, isn't it? But, <laughs> you know, might as well try it while we've got it there. Uh, yeah, it's probably not quite, not quite right, but got one of those little junk journal flowers the only thing is that would kind of bulk that out um you know from in terms of going in a pocket and things like that of course then it's not really going to fit in a pocket so yeah that's probably not the thing to use um all right let's just see what else have I got here I've got some of my blue my blue book favorites here and I'm just thinking I've got that stamp or and got that little row of books which I'm thinking would that look quite cute. Let me just cut this down. Okay. Oh this is going to be tricky to cut. Yeah I've cut these out slightly smaller two to a page so these are a little bit Fiddly, fiddly to cut. Oh, they're not too bad. To be fair, often things look worse. You know, they look like they're going to be worse than they actually are in reality, don't they? That was one of those things that just looked like it was going to be a nightmare, but actually turned out not to be so bad. I could have it kind of like that, or even cut the cut the frame off at the bottom. What do we think? Uh, hmm. But if we had it with some lace coming out at the bottom. Is that just really strange? Oh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. What about if I had them coming out from behind the frame? It's quite nice, isn't it? What if we had the black lace here? Whoops. Oh, that's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. It kind of looks almost like a little library, doesn't it? So let's just glue these down and I'm going to again, just glue them over the top of that lace that's going to just hold that into place. So like that there. Okay, and then this one here. And I'm going to put it slightly lower and then just cut the little corner off, you know, the overhang. Just going to cut that off. So yeah. Okay, like that. Yay! Looking good so far. And again, that's obviously just clamped that lace in place, which is all good. Oops. Cut that down there. Okay, yeah, liking how that looks. So just need to trim this lace down here at the side because it doesn't need to be all gaping out like that, does it? And then this is going to go on there or as, as a topper, uh, a, a tab, not a topper, or it could even go on the side. Oh, that's quite cute. That is quite cute, isn't it? Yeah, I quite like it down there, to be honest. 
looks very very cute down there so I'm going to stitch around this and then I will decide whether to have this kind of on the side which I think is really gorgeous um or on the top which you know is obviously the more traditional way but yeah can't quite decide at the moment so let's put that one to the one side and I'm just going to keep that with it so as I remember what I was thinking I was going to do okay right we've got these two so again I'm going to stitch around these um so let's decide what's put on them so I don't know as I want to have another black frame again I mean I'm just pulling in things that happen to be laying around here so yeah I'm just being kind of lazy you know utilizing the stuff that I've got floating about beside me that I have been using obviously for other things um you know whether or not they're the right things so I've got that that's quite nice or maybe it's better on this one better on this one isn't it isn't it strange how just sometimes you know just just putting them on a different piece it can just make all the difference can't it it's um you know quite surprising I think the difference the difference it can make by just having them on the right as opposed to the wrong piece you know and you just get a kind of instant feel don't you as soon as you put them down it's like oh that's that's the piece that's the one it needs to go with okay that's quite nice um just seeing what else I've got here Mm, that's quite nice obviously I'm covering those ladies up completely which is a bit strange but <laughs> let's just ink this up oh I want to keep as much as I can of that floral fabric because I really love that so yeah well, I do quite like it like that, I think. Let me just ink this up around the edge. Because again, you know, sometimes little things like that can just make quite a big difference, can't they? You know, getting your colour kind of coordinating. It can just make all the difference. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I quite like how that looks. So I'm just going to glue this down. Again, I'm just using my hot glue. You know, I don't then have to worry. I know then that it's glued down. It's not coming up or going anywhere. It is just glued down and fixed down there. Okay. And then we're going to just have our... Now this is one of those one side laminated pieces. But it looks really good against the fabric, doesn't it? You know, I really quite like it. The, um, you know, the shiny effect against the fabric looks really nice, doesn't it? Yeah, okay. So I'm going to have it like that. Let me just pop another glue stick in. My glue gun. Okay. Right. Okay. Like that. And then, yeah, we're going to have the bow. I mean, obviously the bow is covering up a bit of that street, you know, street name, but I don't mind that. I think it looks fine. I mean, we could have, I guess, the bow up there, but it does then cover up that whole lady. Mm, let's just check. No, I quite like it down there, I think. So... Yeah, let's just glue that on. Okay. Oh, I've done another one of those click and collects. So, um, yeah, my shopping's going to be ready, collect, ready to collect today after I pick my daughter up from school. I'm really enjoying um, the convenience of that, I must say. So, um, yeah. I mean, it is saving a whole bunch of time. Although, you know, like I've said before, they do charge five pounds for the priv privilege, which I think is a bit naughty. Um, but having said that, it is definitely a time saver, which is great. 
definitely definitely a good thing so again i'm going to have this little bow tab on there so i'm just going to again keep that together and then i'll stitch around the edge and then obviously attach the tab so we've got this one now I've got here that little book from the um ernest nister books so i'm just wondering whether we might be able to have one of the pieces from here because these pages are very thick they're cardboard because they're kind of like pop-up books so i'm thinking oops, these would be quite ideal pieces to use oops, with the the fabric tags because they are going to be quite um you know robust on here so let's just take this one gosh i mean i couldn't have really done a worse job could i have getting that page out but oh well now am i going to cut him out and have him stood on there or tear him down let's tear him down first because then i can always go in and cut him if i think he needs it or would look better cut yeah i'm thinking these would look quite cute on there we think obviously it would look better when this is inked so let's just ink this up now cut him out I think he's going to look better for being cut out isn't he so yeah oh he's got some weird old shoes going on I must say kind of like elf shoes yeah very weird very weird and they're hanging off at the back I mean had I actually read the page who knows maybe he's trying on someone else's shoes although they don't look they don't look like they're massive on him. So, yeah, I don't think he's doing that. But very weird shoes, nonetheless. Strange, isn't it? Sometimes, you know, you don't really notice things about a picture until you actually come to kind of, like, cut it out. And then it's like, oh, who knew? Did not notice that about that picture. Okay. Let's just cut him down here. Mm. Try and leave his glasses intact. Okay. Oh, come on. Okay, cut his feet out. Try not to cut them off, just cut them out. Yeah. Okay, yeah, he looks better, doesn't he, for being cut out, I think. So, yeah, definitely prefer him cut out. Now, what else do we want to put on there? Again, I've pulled this in just because these are just laying around on the desk. And so, you know, it's just handy when you can just incorporate things that you've got laying about, isn't it? So, yeah, I'm not necessarily saying that they they are the best, um, you know, match, but actually... They're what I happen to have laying around. And to be honest, they don't look terrible, do they? On this one, anyway. It doesn't look terrible on this one. Let's just have a look and see. I mean, what would that look if look like if I had two? Or is that just, like, really, really weird? I have got, got this number, which would help tie that colour in a bit more. Let's just... like that oops okay. yeah oh that looks really nice I think really really nice oh I love how that looks yeah I'm gonna go with those um those colors so yeah I mean it just goes to show doesn't it you know you can really put anything on and often the trick is to just find 
one or two other things to bring that colour in, if you see what I mean. So like on this, just by bringing that number, that number over there, in, we've brought that colour onto the piece, if you see what I mean. So before, it was just, oh, you know, I'm not sure, because that's the only addition of that colour. We've got a little tiny bit of blue on those flowers, which wasn't really showing up before, but obviously now that's really been brought out with the addition of the the blue. Now, do I have him? No, I'm going to have him tucked behind there. So what I'm going to do is actually glue him on first onto that label, I think. So, yeah, I'm going to just glue his feet down onto the label. Like that, okay. And then I can glue his umbrella down. Oops. Like that. Yeah, just um, shocking, isn't it? Because now that blue really seems quite a prominent colour on here. And we've just tied it in, obviously, with this number here. And now it's completely transformed the entire kind of um, appearance of, you know, before this just looked like predominantly a green, you know, green kind of piece. Now actually it's kind of taken on the kind of beautiful blue colour hasn't it and that's just really from you know bringing in another couple of blues you know with the number and with the other label and then weirdly that's just brought the blue in those flowers right out to the kind of you know being the most kind of emphasized colour okay and, you know, that's just kind of just by the addition of one other, or, you know, one or two other pieces in the same, in the same colour, or the same shade. So, yeah, don't be kind of afraid to mix your colours up. Obviously, I think, you know, I think, and I'm not trying to claim to be an expert here, but I think the thing that would make it quite clashy and not look good is if it were just that one random thing in that colour but actually once you've added a couple of things in that colour I'm going to uh, put that on there as well then it straight away kind of um, you know that colour then becomes part of it rather than you know just a weird thing on its own okay right let's just quickly cut this down I've probably only got time for one more piece to be honest so yeah let's just quickly cut these down but I don't think we've got time to do all three. Okay. So we'll just cut them all down and then we'll decide which one we're going to work with. And all of these, I've just backed them, you know, it's just been copy paper thickness, but to be honest, because they're like, fabric on top of I think it was 12 by 12 scrap bit paper they're quite thick anyway they're quite robust so you know the copy paper is perfectly adequate as the the backing obviously if they were kind of on flimsy you know flimsy paper and maybe not had the fabric I wouldn't probably back them on copy paper I would back them on something thicker but because they're quite sturdy anyway I didn't really feel that that was necessary so let's have a look. I'm going to go back into this Ernest Nister book because, um, you know, it's really good if I can use up things that are on the desk. Oh, what have I got going on here? Oh, I've got this window with this little girl. So let's just tear that window off. A couple of floating heads there going on. So that's a little bit weird. Oh, well, right. So, yeah, wondering if I could have her pop down there like that so again let's just bring that in right so again what I'm going to do is I'm going to just glue her onto that piece and then you know it's all then working as a comprehensive piece instead of then trying to you know hold it together whilst I'm you know still playing around with it it's now, it is one piece, which is, you know, of course, much easier for working with. So I'm just going to tear this down like that. Okay. Tear it off 
there and just down here at the side. Okay, so she could go on that or she could go on this. Let's just decide. Uh, I think I'm going to have her on this one. Right, so again, I'm just going to ink this up so it's, you know, much more sort of similar tone then to the piece from the book that I've just, you know, torn out because obviously that's got quite a yellowy look to it and this obviously didn't have a yellowy look at all so yeah if we kind of put it down now hopefully it's yeah it's just kind of toning it in a bit better than it was previously so that's there and then let's just have a look here again if I just bring in the colour from the book by bringing in a label that's a similar, similar tone. Okay, cut that round. Okay, okay. And then I'll just ink this up as well. I'm just going to ink around the very edge of this window piece as well. Okay, like that. Okay, I could just put that there. And then I think maybe a bit of lace or something like that on this one would be quite good. So let's just see. Um, oops, some of that crochet lace which I love using. Okay, let's just cut a little bit of this down. I always quite like to cut, you know, cut, cut tear this um, crochet lace. So yeah, just going to kind of cut, tear it here along the length because otherwise it's pretty wide. Oh, that's so pretty, isn't it? Yeah, right. So I'm going to just glue this on in its entirety. So I can just go over everything now because it's just, you know, one sort of cohesive piece, which is great. Like that. Okay. Pop that down there. Like that. And just put the label on which was kind of like over that piece a bit as well. So like that. Okay. And then this crochet, I'm just going to kind of ink it up a little bit. I mean, I quite like it, the colour it is, but yeah, just a tiny bit. And then we can just have that going down there across the bottom. I'm actually thinking maybe it's a bit big. I might just have it there to the side. So again, just kind of glue that down like that. And I can just trim that off here at the side. Yay! Oh, how gorgeous does that look? I love how that looks. That's absolutely adorable, isn't it? Really, really cute. I mean, how could it not be? Because that little girl just looks so gorgeous in there, doesn't she? So yeah, that's that piece. So yeah, that's probably all I've got time for because I think we're up to like 55 minutes now. So definitely not enough time to do the other two bits, but that's fine. I think we've kind of achieved quite a bit there. Um, and hopefully it's given you some ideas of how you can use your fabric collage masterboards and things like that. Um, yeah, so I really hope that you like the pieces that we made. Obviously, like I say, I will probably then go and stitch these on the sewing machine and just chat, attach attach the tabs that we've got here um and then you know these are kind of all done but yeah I mean I really love the bits that we've made I think we've got some really brilliant sort of quite different looking pieces and um yeah I hope that you like them and thank you so much for watching I will see you guys soon thanks then bye